All right. All right, guys. Uh, welcome back. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much uh, for being on time. Once again, my name is Rene Escamilla. I'm going to be your teacher for today. And I believe today is the last day, right? So, all right. So hopefully you guys uh, learned something good. Uh, you have learned something good with me. All right. With the classes that we've been checking. All right. So thank you so much for your patience. Thank you so much for being, you know, polite. I really love that. All right. So I like to work with people like, like I want to, want to learn. Me gusta trabajar con gente que le quiere aprender, ¿verdad? There's, a, you know, there's people that they don't like to learn. They just like to be, you know, listening, but they don't like to participate. La manera que vamos a aprender a aprender, a, perdón, la manera que vamos a aprender a, a, a hablar inglés es participando, opinando, que es lo mismo, haciendo sus tareas y working by yourself at home, all right? So, Trabajando por su cuenta en su casita. All right. So that's the, the learning process. Ese es el, 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 el proceso del aprendizaje. Okay. So very good. Thank you so much once again uh, for being on time. And let's go and let's check our motivation part. Leave me one second. Let's see. I already have another one over here. Give me one second. All right. Let me share this. And let me know if you are able to see uh, the screen. Can you see that? Yes. Excellent. Give me one second. All right, guys. Very good. Very good. So let's repeat motivation. 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 Very good. Motivation. One more time. Today is the last day. Motivation. All right. We need to be. We need to be happy. We need to be motivated. Especially today is Friday, right? So um, we got. We we need to be happy. We got to be happy, and we need to complete this class happy. All right. So. Let me read this, all right, in order to understand the this lovely quote, quote right? So, esta, esta frase dice así, the two, most, the two most powerful warriors are patient and time. One more time. Let me repeat it back to you. The two most, the the two two most, two most powerful, powerful warriors War, warriors, warriors are, are patient, patient and time. And time. Okay, los dos, uh, ¿cómo sería aquí? Los más poderosos guerreros son los dos, los, las dos, las dos cosas más poderosas o, o los que los guerreros más poderosos son paciencia y tiempo. Las dos, ¿cómo se dice? The two most powerful warriors. Ok, son las dos cosas más poderosas en esta vida, en este proceso de learning process, perdón, de, de aprendizaje de inglés, es, son patient and time. Ahora bien, yo le pregunto a Armando, why are? Why, why we have are over here? Oh. Mm -hmm. It's plural. Plural, right? And which ones are the, the items that we are mentioning right now? Patience and time. Patience and time. Very good. Excellent. You see, I know that you learned a little bit. You learned something, you know, from this uh, lovely classes that we have uh, during this month, I guess. All right. So very good. Okay. So let's repeat one more time. The two most uh, powerful. The two most powerful. The two most powerful. Warriors are warriors. Warriors. warriors are patient in time. Patient in time. Patient in time. Excellent. Give me one second. Vamos a verificar algo aquí rapidito. Permítame. All right. Let's see. Let's see. Okay. Look at this. Translator. Trans later all right remember about translator tool every time that you need any any help try to use it all right ese no es ningún pecado que usted use el traductor solo es para para quitarnos las dudas all right most all right so let's see most must no es most no es most es must must most must, must. all right most. so very good excellent all right so 
Now, uh, let's get back on track and let's uh, double check the previous topic <clears throat> that we checked, you know, as a matter of fact, yesterday, okay? So, let's repeat. Knowledge check. Knowledge check. Knowledge check. Okay, so, oh, but listen, I didn't I didn't explain this properly. I'm sorry. My bad. Okay, no le expliqué esto apropiadamente. Mi error. All right, so remember, the two most powerful warriors are patient and time. All right, so los guerreros más poderosos en este learning process que usted tiene son paciencia y tiempo. Así que, ¿qué quiere decir esto? Que aprendió algo este mes, sí. Que va a aprender a va a aprender algo más el otro mes, sí. All right, so y eso tiene eso toma que paciencia y tiempo. tiempo. Tiene que ser paciente, all right? So, acuérdese que esto no es que lo vamos a agarrar. Ya tenemos nosotros, bueno, la mayoría están jovencitos, ¿verdad? Lo pueden agarrar fácil, fácil el inglés, ¿verdad? Cuando uno ya está un poco mayor, cuesta, pero no es imposible, ¿verdad? Acuérdese de lo que le dije yo, all right? So, the age is not a problem. La edad no es problema, all right? So, acuérdese que en este proceso, paciencia y tiempo tiene que ir agarrado de la mano, all right? So, solo póngase un, un tiempo estipulado usted. Y diga, ok, uh, el otro año para estas fechas, ya tengo que ir por lo menos a, quiero ver, pongámosle, serían cuatro, cinco, seis, ya tengo que ir por lo menos a preintermedio o intermedio, preintermedio, no sé cuántos, cuántos niveles les, les dan, pero tengo que ir a, a preintermedio por lo menos el otro año. All right, so, and I want you to, you guys, Text me and tell me, hey, mister, I am here. I mean, uh, we are on this level. We are we are on pre-intermediate, all right? So I want to hear that. I want to I want to see, you know, that text from you guys. And I will I, and I will remember you, okay? So anyways, let's get back on track. Uh, let's repeat one more time. Knowledge check. Knowledge check. Knowledge, Knowledge check. check. Knowledge check. check. Knowledge check. Knowledge check. Very good. <laughs> Very good. So if I ask you guys, uh, this question is plural, uh, plural, right? So if I ask you when we are going to use some and any, what would be your answer? Si les pregunto, ¿dónde vamos a utilizar some y any? ¿A dónde? ¿Cuál sería su, su respuesta? Son para afirmar, decía. Any negación. Para negación. Very, very good, very good, very good. Excellent. Negación y afirmación, ¿verdad? Negación y afirmación. Así es simple y sencillo. Negación y afirmación. ¿Verdad? Acuérdense de los ejemplos que le daba yo ayer. If you go to any, 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 any home or any house or any friend house y o a un amigo, alguna casa de un amigo y usted de repente va a abrir la refri y no mira nada y le dice there's any eggs here uh Florisia there's any any eggs y usted le dice no 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 worries let's get some o sea, de, let's get some y nos vamos pero vamos a agarrar vamos a agarrar huevitos para cocinar all right so very good all right let's uh repeat or let's double check this let's see it says we have a lot of potatoes let's make some right Let's make some, no any. Mm -hmm. All right, so Amanda, okay, do we have any mayonnaise? Okay, let's repeat. Okay, do we have any mayonnaise? Okay, do we have any mayonnaise? Mayonnaise, all right, very good. Okay, no, we did, I'm sorry, no, we need to buy some. No, we need to buy some. Amanda, we need some onions too. We need, we some, need some onions too. Onions too. Excellent. All right. Oh, I don't want or oh, I don't want any onions. I hate onions. Oh, I don't want any onions. I hate onions. I hate onions. All right. Very good. All right. So, and let's see, Amanda. Then let's get some celery. Then let's get some celery. Then let's get some celery. 
¿Qué quiere decir celery? celery? Apio, ¿verdad? Apio. Very good, very good. All right, so Adam dice, but let's put some apples in it. Apples in it. In it, right? Very good. De pronto usted lo puede pronunciar. Apples in it. Pero como ya usted ya sabe inglés, ¿verdad? Usted dice, uh, but let's put some apples in it. De una sola vez, ¿verdad? In it. Very good, very good. <laughs> very good, guys. All right, let's pass to the next topic. Let's see. Uh, let's see who is going to help me tonight. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Marisol, please be my guest and help me with uh, this uh, objective, lesson objective. Please go ahead, Marisol. By the end of this class, you will learn about common brains, funds in different countries. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates some cultural differences in food. Very good, very good, excellent, excellent. Let's repeat breakfast. 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 Right? Breakfast. 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 Right. Breakfast. Breakfast. Food. 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 Breakfast. 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 Food. 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 Ahora right, ya cuando ya maneja ya la lengüita ya la tiene así bien bien soltadita ya usted se lo dice different. 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 Let's repeat countries. 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 Excellent, excellent. Let's repeat additionally. Additionally. Very good, very good. Let's repeat uh practice. 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 You will practice. And let's repeat illustrate. Yes. Yes. Some uh, cultural. Some cultural. Cultural. Very good. And let's repeat differences. Difference. 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 All right, now. Just to make sure, vamos a ver si lo dijimos correcto, ¿verdad? Venimos para acá y... Damos acá. Let's go. <coughs> End of this class, you will learn about common breakfast foods in different countries. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates some cultural differences in food. Si se fijó como dijo eh, cultural, dijo cultural. 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 One more time. By the end of this class, you will learn about common breakfast foods in different countries. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates some cultural differences in food. Cultural differences. Cultural. cultural. All right. Very good. Excellent. All right. Remember common, to use. Okay. Common, profe. Comunes. Dice acá. Oh, about. Uh, dice acá. Al finalizar esa clase, ustedes aprender, aprenderán sobre alimentos comunes del desayuno en diferentes mm. países. Además, practicarán una conversación la cual ilustra algunas diferencias culturales en la comida. All right, so, very good. Not a problem. Anytime, anytime. All right, so, let's double check this. All right, so, let's uh, double check. And this goes like this, all right? All right, let's go. Vamos a ver primero la pronunciación. What do you have for breakfast and conversation? Fish for breakfast. Breakfast, all right? So one more time. What do you have for breakfast and conversation? Fish for breakfast. All right, so uh, let's see who's going to help me tonight. All right, uh, Jocelyn, please uh, repeat this, please. What do you have for breakfast and conversation? Fish for breakfast? Very good, excellent. Let's see who else is going to help me. Jenny Guadalupe, please help me. What do you have for breakfast in conversation? Fish for breakfast? Excellent. Jaime, please be my guest. Help me. What do you have for breakfast in conversation? 
fish for breakfast. Excellent. Very good, very good. Anibal, please be my guest. What do you have for breakfast in conversation? Fish for breakfast. Excellent. Florencia, be my guest, please. What do you have for very good, very good, excellent. Round of applause for everybody. Okay, now we we're going to double check uh, our our platform. All right, so we already checked this, right? So we already know what is fruit salad, cake, pie, cookies, and ice cream, right? We are aware about this. Remember that we already practiced this too, right? So. Do we need lo que, lo que decíamos, verdad? Donde vamos a aplicar any and some or some and any. All right, so and we do have here pronunciation sentence stress. Okay, so que quiere decir stress? Acento, verdad? Es el acento de lo que usted tiene. Por eso le decía yo, cada vez que usted mire un. Eh, Como se dice, un uh, sin interrogación, un mark question. All right, so you need to sound as question. All right, porque yo le, le ponía ejemplo, verdad? Que si yo solo le digo, what do you need? O sea, si yo le digo así, what do you need? O sea, pero si usted dice, what do you need? All right, so pretendamos que estamos atendiendo a un cliente en un restaurante o usted quiere que lo atiendan de una manera especial, verdad? Pero si le, si le hacen a usted, digamos, le quiero ver, permítame, le, le hacen, ¿cómo le digo? Quiero verme yo. Le, le hacen así, y usted llega a un restaurante y le hacen. Ajá, pero verdad que, pero si yo, si usted llega al restaurante y le, y le digo yo, what do you need? Oh, may I help you? Esos son otra, otra, otros términos, ¿verdad? Pero usted tiene que sonar como pregunta. What do you need? Si usted se fija la chibolita que está acá, esta la que la que señala acá esta parte, se la voy a señalar para que la miremos. Esta chibolita acá, esta acá, esta acá, es donde vamos a hacer el acento, o sea, donde lo vamos a, a subir un poco, ¿verdad? Dice usted, what do you need? What do you need? All right, so. Do you need any fruit? Do you need any fruit? I need some bread and some fish. Yes. I want some bananas. All right. So, acuérdense que a veces nosotros solo lo leemos y esto es cuando empieza uno a sentir, no presión, ¿verdad? Pero cuando usted dice, no es fácil, no es fácil aprender un idioma, pero no es difícil ni, impos ni imposible. Que lo aprende, lo aprende. Así de sencillo. Paciencia y tiempo. Y tiempo. Very good. All right. So, all right. Let's repeat. What do you need? What do you need? One more time. What do you need? What do you need? Do you need any fish? Do you need any fish? I need some bread and some fish. I need some fish. Yes. 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 I want some yes. bananas. Yes. yes. I want some bananas. Very good. Very good. Very good. In one second, let me clear up this. All right. So, all right. And we have this. For example, if you go to a restaurant, right? So, any, and of course, by faith, you will go to the United States, to Canada, to you, Europe. Los lugares donde se habla, por fe, ¿verdad? Vamos a viajar, ¿ok? Si lo cree, levánteme la manita, déme un like ahí. Si lo cree que va a viajar y, y que un día va a aprender a hablar inglés, y le creo. Y si no, pues, bueno, quede en su... Eso, ya, ya me mandaron ahí. Eso, eso, eso. Very good, very good. All right. If you go to any restaurant, all right? Either way, here in El Salvador, there's some restaurant restaurants, right? And La Colonia Escalón, you can go over there. And mm -hmm. if you don't, if you don't, if you don't want to speak Spanish, no matter, you can speak English, right? So there's people, there's waiter, uh, waiters and waitresses that speaks English, all right? So if you don't want to speak Spanish, pero igual, but es cosa de, de gustos, verdad? Pero como vamos a viajar, usted va a ir y va a ver. Diferentes tipos de, de menús, right? 
y dice, pues, por ejemplo, en, la, en las mañanas, cuando usted se baje del hotel, excuse me, en la mañana, cuando usted, cuando usted baje al lobby en, y le pregunte al, ¿a quién le va a preguntar? El que está en el lobby, ¿quién es el que está en el lobby del, del, del hotel? Receptionist. Receptionist. Very good, very good. Usted le va a decir, excuse me, do you know where is the food court? Así es. Do you know where is the food court? Hoy. Vaya, mire. Do you know where is the food court? Tal vez, de, tal vez usted ha ido a la ha ido a la plaza a la plaza Mondo allá cómo se llama al lo que está todavía arriba la, la Gran Vía todo, todos los moles a Metrocentro el Metrocentro de Popa usted tal vez ha ido y, y ha escuchado verdad qué le dicen hasta los hasta los vigilantes le dicen los security guards le dicen allá está el food court le dicen o sea nosotros hablamos inglés pero no nos damos cuenta y mencionamos palabras que tal vez por inercia o por lógica entendemos que, que es, ¿verdad? Pero yo al principio no sabía que, el, que, ese, que es el food court, decía yo. O sea, los comedores, pues, en otras palabras, los lugares donde uno, donde uno come. Entonces viene usted, se va a bajar al a, a lobby y le va a preguntar al, al receptionist. Hey, excuse me, uh, sir, or excuse me, young lady, do you know where is the food court? Oh, yes, le va a decir Go over there, take a left, and then go down to the stairs, and you will see the food court there. All right. So, cuando usted llega al, al comedor, ya mira que todo es para así, all you can eat, right? En los hoteles, ¿verdad? Entonces, pero uh, si mira a alguien que le está dando, le dice, excuse me, siempre sea polite, right? Siempre sea educado, right? Siempre, siempre. Eso de antemano, ¿verdad? Siempre, eh, siempre diga, excuse me. Excuse me. Sir, excuse me, miss, what do you have for breakfast? ¿Qué tiene para, para desayunar? ¿Qué tiene para desayuno ahora? Me preguntan a mí, vengo yo y le digo, oh, yes, uh, we do have eggs, bacon. Y le empiezo a señalar, ¿verdad? Tal vez, no por ser arrogante, pero uno quiere, esa, uno quiere que le digan, ¿verdad? Porque yo veo aquí Japan, veo Japan, uh, Mexico, and U.S. All right, so, pero vengo yo y le digo, ok, so... What would you like to eat? Si yo le pregunto, uh, let's see, déjeme ver, vamos a preguntarle a alguien aquí, ¿verdad? A mí me gusta preguntar, tal vez por eso me van a recordar. All right, Wilfredo, este, si yo le pregunto, what would you like to eat? Tenemos tres, tres menús diferentes, pero yo le digo, Wilfredo, what would you like to eat? American food, Japanese food, or Mexican food? Uh, I, like, I like the Mexican food. I like to eat Mexican food. Uh, okay. Go ahead. One more time. I like to eat Mexican food. Oh, excellent. Very good. Very good. All right. Uh, all right, uh, mister. So, me, uh, Mexican, the Mexican food that we have is this. Y le digo, ¿verdad? Es esto. Eggs, beans, torti tortillas. Porque así dicen los gringos, ¿verdad? Tortillas, fre fresh fruit, sweet bread, coffee with milk. All right. So, would you like to get this combo? Uh, Wilfredo? Uh, yes. Yes. Very good. Excellent. Very good. So, y si le pregunto, quiero ver, vamos a ver. Uh, le pregunto a Blanquita. Le digo, Blanqui, what would you like to eat? American food, Japanese food, or Mexican food? Tell me, which combo would you mm. like? I am the gringo. I, I, don't, I, don't know, I don't know how to speak mm. Spanish. All right. Tell me. Which combo would you like to eat? You, I mean, American food, Japanese food, or Mexican food? Mm, Mexican. I'm sorry, I don't, I don't understand. Would you like to eat <clears throat> Mexi Mexican food? That's what you say, Mexican, Mexican food. Mexican okay. food. Very good, very good. Okay, uh, Blanky, uh, young lady, we have eggs, beans, tortillas, fre uh, fresh fruit. Sweet bread, coffee with milk. All right, very good, excellent. Uh, good job. Let's see, uh, Jenny. 
What would you like to eat? American food, Japanese food, or Mexican food? I want to eat American food, please. Very good, excellent. Uh, for American food, uh, young lady, uh, we do have eggs, bacon, toast with butter, orange juice, coffee, and jam and jelly. All right, so very good. Ingrid, what would you like to eat? American, uh, American food, Japanese, or Mexican food? I like eat Mexican, Mexican food. Mexican food, all right. So, but dígame que le quiere Japanese food. Porque repetimos a Mexican. Very good, dígame, Japanese, please. I like eat Japan food. Japanese, Japanese, Japanese food. food. All right, very good. Uh, for Japanese food, uh, young lady, we do have fish, rice, soup, pickles, and green tea. Very good, excellent. Okay, now let's repeat, eggs. 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 Bacon. Bacon. Let's repeat toast with butter. Toast with butter. One more time. Toast with butter. Toast with butter. The toast with butter is, is this one. Si no sabía, si ya lo sabe, pues solo se lo, se lo repito, ¿verdad? Es el pan con, con margarina, margarina. Mantequilla. Mantequilla. Sí, mantequilla. Very good. Orange juice. Orange, Orange juice. juice. All right, very good. Coffee. Coffee and okay. juice. Jam Coffee. and jelly. Jam, jam and jelly. jelly. All right, jam, ya sabes que es el jam and jelly, jam ¿verdad? And el, jelly. el jelly es la, como, ¿cómo le llaman? El... Mermelada. La mermelada, very good, excellent. Mm. All right, let's repeat, Japan. 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 Japanese. 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 The USA. 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 American. 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 American, all right. Okay, Japan, Japanese. Okay, Mexico. Repeat Mexico. Mexico. Mexican. Mexican. All right. Re re remember. Give me one second. <coughs> Hold on one second. Let me clear all this. Uh, all right okay so remember don't get confused don't get confused cuando le digan o sea cuando empezamos a hablar inglés este tendemos a, de, a, a cortar las palabras verdad por ejemplo no sé si blanquita me dijo méxico pero es porque ahí dice me, me, ahí dice méxico verdad ahí dice méxico Ahí dice Japan y ahí dice US, all right? Pero este para decirlo apropiadamente, usted dice I like to eat Salvadorian food. I like to eat Mexican food, comida mexicana. I like to eat American food, comida americana. I like to eat Japanese food, Korean food. Uh, I like to eat uh, Guatemala food. I like to eat, and on and on and on, así sucesivamente, ¿verdad? Porque si usted dice, I like to eat Mexico food, es como que sí se entiende, pero si usted, usted se está cortando su vocabulario, all right? Very good. Let's repeat. Fish. 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 Rice. 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 Soup. 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 Pickles. Pickles. Ya saben cuáles son los picos, right? Son Pico. así como unos de, como pepinillos, ¿verdad? Pepinillos. Pepinillos así como, como con vinagre, bien rico. A mí me gustan, pero hay unos pequeñitos así que son chiquitos. Mini picos no. que le llaman. Riquísimo. <risa> ya me dio hambre. Like anyway. Very good. <risa> <risa> All right. Let's repeat. Green tea. Green tea. Green tea. Green tea. Te verte, ¿verdad? Ok, let's repeat. Mexican. Mexico. 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 All right. So, hey, otro, otra cosa, ¿verdad? Cuando esté en, en United States, sí le va a entender, pero para que se oiga mejor usted es México, no México. En español es México, ¿verdad? Pero en inglés, México. All right. So, let's repeat. Eggs. 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 Beans. 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 Tortillas o tortillas. Tortillas. 
fresh uh, fresh fruit. Fresh, 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 fruit. Fruit. Sweet bread. Sweet bread. 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 Pan, el pan dulce, va, la semita mieluda, todo eso, el, el, que está aquí, ¿verdad? <risa> ¿verdad? Coffee, with no, Coffee, <risa> Coffee with milk. Coffee with milk. Coffee with milk. Okay, very good. All right. So remember, what would be uh, I mean, what would be your question if you ask me? Que, que te, ¿Cuál sería la pregunta si usted me, pre, perdón, ¿qué me preguntaría a mí si usted necesita saber qué hay de desayuno? ¿Cuál, cuál, es, cuál es la respuesta? ¿Cuál es la pregunta? Very good. What do you have for breakfast? Excuse me. Pero acuérdese de siempre. Excuse me, sir. Como no sabe mi nombre, ¿verdad? Por, por, o tal vez me va a ver el, 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 el tag name aquí. El que ganan aquí el, el tag, que es el, el cuadrito donde andan su nombre, ustedes me quedan viendo y, ah, eh, René, o si no, pero como no me conoce, me dice, excuse me, sir, what do you have for breakfast? Oh, yes, we do have this and this and this, y ya le doy yo todo el, el, todo el menu, ¿verdad? Entonces, nos vamos más para abajo. Do you have any questions so far about this, guys? Is that clear? No. Is that clear? It's clear. Everything is clear. Very good. Very good. Okay. So las cositas, las cositas que están aquí abajo están claras. Yes. Los, okay. Very good. Toast with butter. Remember that is the bread. I mean, el pan que nos comemos con mantequilla. Very good. Excellent. Okay. So now let's see. Let's repeat fish for breakfast. Fish for, fish for breakfast. Imagínese, imagínese usted allá, allá en Japón, ¿verdad? Va a ir, a, va a ir allá a Japón, a Japón. Hmm. Y le dicen, desayuno tenemos pescado. Y usted así como, what? Mi estomaguito va a sufrir a buena mañana. ¿Cómo va a creer que vamos a comer pescado? Yo como pescado de almuerzo. Pero that's, that's what it is, right? Porque esa es la pregunta. Fish for breakfast? Let's repeat. Fish for breakfast. Fish, Fish, for, breakfast. for, breakfast. Fish for breakfast. Excellent. Very good. Very good. All right. So now let's see. Let me read it first. Let me explain. And then uh, uh, we're going to practice together. Okay. So let's see. Uh, está Sara y Kumiko. All right. Son dos uh, young ladies. Okay. So it is así. Sara le dice, let's have, a, let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Tengamos desayuno este domingo. Kumiko le dice, okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Venite a mi casa. Mi familia siempre tiene un estilo japonés de desayuno los domingos, le dice. Le dice Sara, ¿really? Imagínense, le dice así. ¿Really? No solo diga, ¿really? No. ¿Really? De veras, le dice. What do you have? Le dice. ¿Qué es lo que, qué es lo que tienen? Y le dice conmigo, we usually have fish, rice and soup. Imagínense que le ofrezcan eso. Buena mañana a usted. Usualmente tenemos pescado, arroz y sopa. Dios mío. Viene Sara y dice, fish for breakfast. No lo puede creer, ¿verdad? Viene él y dice, that's interesting. Eso, por no decirle otra cosa, ¿verdad? Le dice, that's interesting. Eso está interesante. Entonces viene conmigo y dice, sometimes we have, we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. A veces tenemos ensaladas también y... Siempre tenemos uh, té verde. Mm -hmm. Well, well, le dice Sara, well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Nunca he comido pescado de desayuno, pero me gusta probar cosas nuevas. This, all right? So, very good. So, before we start with this, I'm going to stop the, rec uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to stop the, the class and let me pass this right away, okay? So, be ready in one second let's see let's see Vamos a ver. today it's uh august 18 right yes excellent yes. Yes. Ex excellent very good okay so let's see adriana madai ramirez marroquin Uh, Ana Graciela Ramos Garcia. Here I am, teacher. Thank you. Anderson Jeremy Molina Celaya. I'm here. Thank you, sir. Armando Antonio Albanes Martinez. Present, teacher. Thank you, sir. Blanca Estefani Vasquez Hernandez. Present, teacher. 
Thank you, Miss. Carlos Aníbal Martinez Ramos. I'm here. Thank you, sir. Astesia Gemina Martinez Rivas. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Diana Patricia Carranza Paz. Present, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Elmer Alexander Ruiz Rodriguez. Present, teacher. Thank you, sir. Elsie Gabriela Ramos Mahano. Elsie Gabriela Ramos Mahano. She's not here. Floricia Mejibar Vigil. Present. Thank you, Miss. Griselda Raquel Estrada Landaverde. She's not here. Ingrid Esmeralda Cornejo Osorio. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Uh, Isbel Araceli Beltrán Ayala. Isbel Araceli Beltrán Ayala. She's not here. Jacqueline Janet Guzmán Bonilla. Jacqueline Present. Janet. Excellent. Jaime Iván Ventura Castro. Jaime Ivo. Thank you. Jocelyn Stephanie Bautista Zuniga. I am here, teacher. Thank you. Karina Yamilet Gonzalez Pineda. Karina Yamilet Gonzalez Pineda. Present, teacher. Thank you, miss. Carla Joana Martinez Platero. Present, teacher. Thank you. Carla Joana Martinez Platero. Carla Joana Martinez Platero. She's not here. And Kenny Guadalupe Hernandez Godoy. Present teacher. Thank you, Miss. Uh, Maria Wendy Guadalupe Rodriguez Cibrian. I'm here, teacher. Thank you, Miss. Marisol de Los Angeles Cortez Gonzalez. Present teacher. Thank you. Maybelline Lisset Ramirez Martinez. Maybelline Lisset Ramirez Martinez. Ronald Alexander Rodriguez Posada. Present teacher. Yes, sir. Ronald Vladimir Camayagua Amaya. He's not here. Wilfredo Alberto Canacas Rivas. Here I am, teacher. Thank you, sir. Jenny Guadalupe Martinez Murcia. Excellent. Very good. All right. So if I didn't mention your name, please let me know on this chat and I will double check that. Or you can text me, all right? So at the end of this class. All right. Let's get back on track. Let's see. One second. So that. One moment, please. Okay. Just a moment. Mm -hmm. All right. So let's see. Let's uh, double check uh, this information. But first, uh, let me just play the video, and then you. It will be your our our turn to double check this. All right. So we already know what they are talking about. If I ask some questions, or if I ask a quick question to you guys. What are they talking about? ¿De qué están hablando ellos? What are they talking about? The breakfast. They are talking about the uh, about the, the breakfast? Japanese breakfast. Japanese breakfast. Very Japanese good. Breakfast. Excellent. Let's go. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn about common breakfast foods in different countries. Additionally, you'll practice a conversation which illustrates some cultural differences in food. Let's get started by learning what people in the U.S., Japan, and Mexico eat for breakfast. What do you have for breakfast? The U.S. Eggs. Bacon. Toast with butter. Orange juice. Coffee. Jam, jelly, Japan, fish, rice, soup, pickles, green tea, Mexico, eggs, beans, tortillas, fresh fruit, sweet bread, Coffee with milk. So what do you have for breakfast? Next, what I would like for you to do is to listen to a conversation which illustrates this topic. Let's listen and practice. Fish for breakfast? Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? 
What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Now it's your turn to practice this conversation along with the vocabulary. You may watch this video as many times as necessary. I will also like for you to answer the following question in our discussion forums. What do you have for breakfast? Excellent. All right, let's get back over here. Okay, let's see. All right, let's see. Uh, Jaime and Ingrid, be my guests, please. Go ahead. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese stay. Breakfast on sun Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually, usually have fish, rice, and soap. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Excellent. Now let me ask you, uh, Ingrid and Jaime, se les vino a la cabeza estar traduciendo ahorita. ¿Verdad que entendieron todo lo que estaban hablando? Mi opinión. Dígame sí o no, no hay problema. Más o menos. Más o sí, menos. Morales. Ok, pero, o sea, se, o sea si, si lo explicamos antes, como, como lo hicimos ahorita, usted lo logra entender de una mejor manera y ya no está traduciendo, ¿verdad? Usted ya solo dice, oh, estoy hablando, estoy hablando. Entonces, así usted tiene que practicar y de repente va a empezar a hablar de la manera que lo está haciendo. Ok, very good. Ok, let's see Jocelyn and Floricia. Be my guest, please. Go ahead. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always is as a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soap. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Excellent. Very good. Round of applause for you. Let's repeat. Try. 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 Let's repeat Try. soup. 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 Very good. Breakfast. 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 Interesting. Interesting. Esta palabra algunas veces usted la va a escuchar y no se me vaya a confundir porque la gente de UK, de Reino Unido, uh, United Kingdom, Ellos, ellos lo pronuncian interesting, interesting. All right, so entonces usted no se vaya a confundir. Usted solo aprenda el, el inglés de United States. All right, so en este, en este contexto, pues solo le hago saber eso. All right, let's see. Um, ¿Quién me va a ayudar en este momento? Vamos a ver. All right, so let's see. Uh, Wilfredo and Marisol, please be my guest. Okay. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to my house. My family always has a nice team breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Excellent. Very good. Let's repeat uh, usually. 
Usually. Usually. Usually. Usually. Let's repeat Usually. rice. 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 Interesting. 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 All right. So interesting. Interesting. Okay. interesting. interesting. Very good. All right. Let's see now. Uh, let me help help me. Anibal and Jacqueline, please. Go ahead. Be my guest. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always uh, has a Japanese style breakfast on really? Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast. That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I'd like to try new things. Excellent, very good. Anderson and Ana Graciela, be my guests, please. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay, come to me house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sunday. Raleigh, what do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too. And we always have green tea. Okay. Well, I never eat for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Very good. Excellent. All right. Cecia and Diana, be my guests, please. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese-style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Uh, fish for breakfast? Oh, that's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have a green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try a new new things excellent very good uh elmer and let's see kenny yeah, elmer. Yes, sir. anybody me? yeah go ahead okay. go ahead yes let's let's have a breakfast together on sunday okay come to my house my family always have the japanese style breakfast on sunday Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, fried, and soup. Peas for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try a new thing. Okay, excellent. Uh, no sé si ha participado Jenny and Wilfredo. No, I'm not. Okay, go ahead. Jenny and Wilfredo, be my guest. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Let's have a breakfast together on Sunday. Hey, come to my house. My family always has a Japanese style breakfast on Sundays. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too, and we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Okay, okay. Very good. 
All right, excellent. All right, so now let's see. No sé si Ana puede participar. Ana Graciela, no sé si ya participó con... Este, ¿Quiénes no han participado? Levántame la mano, por favor. Hey, teacher. Who? Armando. Armando, ok. Armando, ¿y quién más? Armando. Me gusta yo también, le participo. Ok, go ahead, go ahead. Armando. Y... Let's have... Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Ok, come to my house. My family always has a happening still. Breakfast and Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have it fish, fries, and soup. Fish for breakfast? That's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad too. And we always have green tea. Well, I never eat fish for breakfast, but I like to try new things. Very good. Uh, Ronald and Karina, I guess. No participado. Ronald and Karina, Jamilet. Go ahead. Initial yes. audio. Anybody, anybody, go ahead. Let's have breakfast together on Sunday. Okay. Come to my house. My family always has a Japanese still breakfast on Sunday. Really? What do you have? We usually have fish, rice, and soup. Fits for breakfast, that's interesting. Sometimes we have a salad, too, and we always have green tea. With, I never eat fits for breakfast, but I like to treat neat things. Excellent, excellent. Let's repeat. But, 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 but let's but, repeat. But, try, 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 try. Interesting, yeah. interesting. Interesting. Usually, usually. 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 Sundays. 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 Style. Style. Excellent. Anybody? Alguien más que se me haya quedado de participación? Everybody participate. Yes. Levántame la manita. Bueno, yo creo que todos participamos ya, ¿verdad? Ok, no hay problema. All right, guys. Very good job. Very good job. All right. So, just uh, focus on your pronunciation every time that you're talking. If you don't understand, if you have a book, le, este es un tip que le voy a dar. Si usted tiene un libro, en línea, obvio, ¿verdad? Para que se le haga más fácil, usted agarre este espacio como el que tengo acá yo, ¿verdad? Usted lo agarra. Este es un tip que no es, no es recomendable, pero le va a ayudar, porque se está empezando, ¿verdad? Y a mí me, 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 me ha ayudado y, me, y les ha ayudado a los alumnos que yo he tenido. Entonces, usted copia y pega esto en el traductor, lo lee en español y ya verifica lo que dice. Luego le pone el traductor y empieza a hablar él, ¿verdad? Y, y usted empieza a escuchar cómo pronuncia el traductor. Luego ya se pasa para acá y ya lo lee usted con su propia voz, ¿verdad? Empieza y dice, let's have a breakfast together on Sundays. I mean, on Sunday. Ok, come to my house. Y así sucesivamente, para que se le haga más fácil el entendimiento. Porque a veces, así de, de entrada, de entrada, usted dice, no, no entiendo. No me entra y no entiendo y no entiendo y no entiendo. Y se cerró y se cerró, pues. Y, y ahí nos quedamos. Bueno, ahora pasamos al grammar focus, ok, so, dígame Jenny, tiene alguna pregunta, no le escucho, con respecto a lo que estaba diciendo, Sí. hay una app que se llama Iwa, que es de, es de libros, y usted va leyendo, y si hay una palabra ahí, solo toca la palabra, y le dice cómo se pronuncia, y qué significa, ¿Cómo se llama? la? Ahí, si quieres, mándenos eso ahí a la, al, al grupo de WhatsApp. Lo puede, lo puede compartir, ¿verdad? Entonces, para que los compañeros lo tengan a la mano y se les haga más fácil. Very good, Jenny. Thank you so much for your, for your information. Ok, so now, guys, uh, si ustedes se fijaron, mencionamos usually, right? Mencionamos usually. Y estos son los adverbs of frequency. Estos son los adverbios de frecuencia. 
Entonces te dice, ¿qué es eso? Adverbios de frecuencia, o sea, los adverbios. Acuérdense que es un adverbio. Entonces, ¿qué son esos? Son todos los que usted mira en este momento, lo que les le voy a señalar acá, ¿verdad? Eso de acá. Estos, más que todo, estos son los adverbios. Perdón. Todo, hasta acá, hasta abajo, hasta sometimes. All right, so, cuando usted dice always, y usted le dice, hey, are you feeling good today? Ingrid, are you feeling good? Y usted dice, always, siempre, ¿verdad? Always, let's repeat, always. 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 Right. Okay. always. Let's repeat, usually. 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 Often. 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 No me le ponga la T, solo póngala así suavecita, que se, se, oiga, se oiga, que se oiga often. 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 Very good. Sometimes. 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 Hardly ever. Hardly ever. 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 Never. 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 And sometimes. And sometimes. All right, so, ¿qué quiere decir esto? Aquí está, mire, la escala, ¿verdad? La escala. Entonces, es de la manera que usted se siente, por decirlo así. Como le estaba diciendo el ejemplo con Ingrid, con Floricia, con Blanquita y, y everybody else. Yo le digo, hablo, hablo plural ahorita y le digo, hey guys, how you feeling? How you feeling today? And ustedes me dicen, always happy. Always happy. Si es el 100%. Usually es como el 95% o 90% que usted dice, usually Mr. Escamilla mentioned Usually, Mr. Escamilla mention our motivation quote. Usualmente, Mr. Escamilla menciona el, 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 el mensaje de motivación. Sí, Usually. No. Or, usted dice, usualmente tomaba, por decirlo así, Coca-Cola. I usually drink uh, Coke, but now, not anymore. ¿Verdad? De usualmente, y eso es, ahí va la frecuencia. Mire, por eso se llama adverbio de frecuencia, porque es... Eh, cuando usted lo va a mencionar, ¿verdad? Porque si yo le digo a Jenny, le digo, Jenny, ¿cómo se siente? Y ella me va a decir, eh, ¿cómo no, no? Perdón, le digo yo, este, Jenny, ¿usted se siente, se siente feliz? Y ella me va a decir, y yo le miro una gran sonrisa a ella, ¿verdad? Pero de repente ella me dice, never, yo me voy a quedar. Algo anda mal, voy a decir yo aquí, algo anda mal aquí, porque se está riendo y me dice que nunca está feliz. Entonces, ahí le damos la lógica, ¿verdad? Si yo le digo, le digo, este, Jocelyn, are, are you happy today? La respuesta sería, yes, I am. O si no, usted me dice, yes, I am. Oh, I always, I always, I, I am happy all the time. I always am happy. Y usted me especifica, ¿verdad? Entonces, es por eso se llama adverbio de frecuencia, ¿verdad? Que usted va, va a connotar aquí cuando usted se siente ¿Cuándo va a aplicar el siempre, el usualmente, el, el seguidamente, a veces, casi siempre o nunca? ¿Verdad? Entonces, usually es como usualmente, ¿verdad? Often es, si yo les pregunto, how often do you study? ¿Qué tan seguido ustedes estudian? ¿Verdad? Y ustedes me dicen, ah, very often, muy seguido like three times a week or two, pero bien seguido, ¿verdad? Entonces le digo, sometimes, uh, do you take a shower, guys? Esa pregunta es bien, bien delicada, ¿verdad? Pero si, por en caso, usted la, la escucha con sus hijos, con, con sus hijos, con, su, con sus familiares, la va a escuchar, ¿verdad? Y, y usted le dice, hey, do you, do you take a shower? Usted le va a decir, sometimes, ¿verdad? Un ejemplo, un, es, un, es, una, es una broma. I Tomar, never do. Le voy a decir never, ¿verdad? Never, wow. Only Sunday. Ok, guys, nos vamos a quedar aquí. Solo déjame de, de tener aquí la, la clase. Este, bueno, nos queda un minuto. Y de igual manera, si esta es la última clase, yo, estaba, yo pensaba que la, la otra semana era ya la, la última semana. Creo que esta es la, la última clase, algo de redundancia. Teacher, Dígame. We don't see the next level. I don't know. Maybe I I going to be your your teacher. Depende a quién le a quién le pongan. Pero igual. Ah, okay. All right. So guys, ha sido un placer haber estado con ustedes. All right. So si los veo la próxima semana, pues va a ser más que un placer atenderles nuevamente y para terminar lo que hemos empezado, verdad. Darle con todo, Thank porque yo sé, yo sé que vamos aprendiendo. 
vamos aprendiendo y a mí me encanta enseñar. Gracias a Dios tengo esa paciencia para poderles eh, brindar lo, po lo poco que yo sé, ¿verdad? Yo no soy el, el gran teacher, pero igual. Muchas gracias. Pasen feliz Thank noche. Thank you so much for gracias. everything. I'll see you next Thank week, you maybe. Teacher. Thank you, guys. No, gracias, gracias a vos. God bless you. Take it teacher. easy. Thank you. Bye. Bye.